Good morning, everyone. This is Sarah with May Handmade. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I've given an, a garden update that's going on this summer, but there have been lots and lots of changes, and so I wanted to give you a tour. This right here is our potatoes. So I made a video earlier this year, um, late spring, springtime, that we were trying our for the first time to grow potatoes. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't post a video of our results. Um, it was one of those, it was a very spontaneous harvest. Um, I will try and post a photo in the community section, but um, the plants in two of the buckets died. So um, we are gonna go, go ahead and clean out the, the buckets and lo and behold, we had, I believe, six potatoes total between the two buckets. And so this middle bucket is doing great and the plant just keeps growing and growing and growing. And so I'm excited to see what's underneath. And then over here, hidden behind our cucumbers are more potatoes. And so with these, these are do doing great also. They're growing slower than um, the other bucket, but I'm excited to see what's underneath all the soil in there also. The mint is doing well, like always. It grows cr crazy. Um, thankfully, it hasn't tried try to take over the strawberries too much, but it is literally busting out of the raised bed, which I find actually to be pretty. I need to come through and trim it. It's getting just a little too tall for me. Over here is our strawberries and we have dill that reseeded itself. And then we still have our one blueberry plant, which is doing beautifully. Um, to have blue blueberries, though, you do need at least two plants. So um, my intentions were to buy more blueberry plants this year, and that just did not happen. So again, it's on the list for next spring. Over here, my oregano came back, and it's actually about to bloom. And then the strawberries, um, they are done for this season once the weather cools off in the fall and um, we should be getting another round of strawberries right now they are focusing on just growing and sending out runners and I'm gonna let them do that because we'll, we love strawberries over here we have black beans, chickpeas, and jalapenos, and then also our cucumbers. I have them growing over the side. This is the part of the growing season that I'm not a big fan of just because everything doesn't look pretty. Um, the black beans are just about done growing. I've been picking them. The black beans are just about done growing them. I've been picking them as they turn yellow though that means that the pod or yes the pod is just working on drying out and that the beans inside are done growing and so as they turn yellow i pick them and then once the plant is completely done with growing and producing beans i rip out the plant uh, i will be planting more beans towards the end of july early august and over here, I am so excited. These green pods right here are chickpeas. And there's supposed to be one bean per pod. Um, another vi video that I shared was that um, I could not find chickpea seeds at a reasonable price. So I went and I just bought a bag of store-bought dry chickpeas for I think a one or two dollars and it was an experiment to see how they would turn out if they would even grow and I am so excited to share with you that they are doing wonderfully and then over here my jalapeno 
seeds never sprouted. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if it was the age of the seeds or if it's just because there's so much going on in this bed. So we ended up buying plants at clearance and um, they are doing great and wonderful also. Over here in my last video, this bed was overflowing with the Taylor beans and they were doing absolutely wonderful. Well, the Taylor beans are done growing. Um, as you can see, I've been ripping them out as they die. And I think these are pretty much done. I still had one or two beans that were trying to develop. And so I'm waiting for them to start turning yellow and then I will pick them and rip out the rest of the plants. Um, over here, the cantaloupes did, did not do well. They're not getting enough set sunlight, so they died. And then the watermelons, they are struggling. But I'm just going to leave them and let them do their thing. And we will see how they turn out. Right here, I had forgotten that I planted a sweet potato to grow starts and so I was surprised that when all of these sweet potato shoots came up so I've been trimming them and putting them in water in the kitchen window and I'm having them grow roots so that I can plant those to grow sweet potatoes. I learned last season that you can't just plant a sweet potato and get sweet potatoes. You have to grow them from starts and so that is what I'm working on. These right here are pinto beans they're not getting enough sunlight and then they're also you know reaching the end of their their life they're just about done producing beans and then as they're done and the beans are ready to harvest i just go ahead and pull them out and then here is our kale i've been kind of lazy with this bed or not i wouldn't say, say lazy it's just been not at the top of my list and so the kale desperately needs to be thinned out over here, we have been enjoying a handful of purple beans every day, and I think next spring, I will not be planting green beans. It will be purple beans only. Um, we are just enjoying the tenderness and the flavor. Um, to me, they have so much better flavor than the green beans. It's almost an asparagus taste. And also, it's fun to cook them because, you know, they're a deep, beautiful purple. And then when you cook them, they, they actually turn green. It's one of those amazing changes where they go from this beautiful, beautiful purple to green almost instantly. And then this side is um, Kentucky Wonder Beans. Um, they are not getting enough sunlight either and um, trimming trees has been on our list of things um, but I mean trimming trees is just an overwhelming task so we are getting some green beans but we haven't had any mature enough to eat yet I did have all different varieties of lettuce and spinach planted in here I still have some basil that's hanging on However, we have a family of rabbits that enjoy visiting the backyard and they have eaten all of the lettuce. So next year or in the fall, I'm going to find a new way to plant lettuce. I'm thinking maybe hanging baskets just so that the rabbits can't reach it. Over here is our tomatoes and asparagus. One thing I need to work on is staking up the tomatoes. I was using sticks and then we were cleaning out the shop and I found some shepherd's hook that were not heavy enough to hold plants on. And so I'm gonna use those to stake up the tomato plants. And so almost all of them have flowers on them. And I believe, I'm not sure which tomato plant it is. I'll have to find it. But I believe at least one of them has a very small tomato on it. And I am just so excited. These are the Sioux tomatoes. 
Um, I know that they have a different name. I just can't remember it. They were um, discovered or made, I'm not sure the term, by the Sioux tribe. And um, they are supposed to be heat and drought tolerant. And I mean, they are just enjoying it out here. And so hopefully we will get abundant of tomatoes. And then over here I have planted some wildflower seeds. I planted milkweed, blue bonnet, dill, um, parsnips, and carrots. And these are all for the ladybugs and the bees and the butterflies. And I'm excited to say that we have one blue bonnet and um which it has been extremely difficult to grow things here. Our pup, this is one of his paths for chasing the squirrels. So everything gets trampled on. This is a store-bought onion that started growing. So I decided to plant it in the ground and I'm excited to say that it has been blooming and hopefully we can save the seeds and I'm going to fill up this bed with different compost and soil and hopefully fill it all completely with onion seeds and that will be enough onions for us for the year. And this is another bed that I'm working on. Um, it's one of those where I have to think about it and redo it and think about it some more. Um, my intentions are this August to plant as much corn as I can in there and then in the springtime plant more asparagus and tomatoes. <laughs>